असलम डियर स्टूडेंट्स होप यू आल आर वेल एंड डोइंग ग्रेट द वीडियो ऑन दिस टॉपिक नर्वस सिस्टम कंटेन एजुकेशनल कॉन्टेंट डेट इज़ बहुत शेयरेबल एंड इज टू डिटेल सो लेट स्टार्ट हे द कॉन्टेंट्स आर द रोल ऑफ नर्वस सिस्टम कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ नर्वस सिस्टम फिल्टरिंग एंड फीचर डिटेक्शन कोमांड न्यूरोन न्यूरोलॉजिकल बेसिस ऑफ बिहेवियर एंड प्रोक्सीमेट कॉजेशन द रोल ऑफ नर्वस सिस्टम The nervous system is the part of an animal body which coordinates its behavior and transmits signal between different body areas. There are four basic functions: sensation, response, integration, and controlling the body. Sensation. The first one or major function of nervous system is sensation, which means receiving information from the environment. to get input about what is happening outside the body or sometimes inside the body the sensory function of the nervous system register the presence of a change from hemostasis or a particular event in the environment known as stimulus there are five major senses data taste smell touch sight and hearing the stimuli for taste and smell are chemical sub- substances like ions The stimuli for touch is a physical or mechanical stimuli through skin. The stimuli for hearing is physical stimuli through sound receptor. The second basic function is responses. The nervous system produces a response on the basis of the stimuli received from sensory structure. For example, we draw a hand from a hot stove. There are two types of responses. that are voluntary and involuntary voluntary responses are governed by the somatic nervous system for example contraction of skeletal muscle running and jumping etc on the other hand involuntary responses are governed by the autonomic nervous system for example heartbeat digestion etc the third basic function is integration stimuli data received from the sensory structure and communicated to the neuron or nervous system where the information is processed called integration stimuli are compared with or integrated with other stimuli the fourth or basic the fourth basic function of nervous system is controlling the body one of the important function of nervous system is to controlling the body for that nervous system divided into two parts on the basis of functional difference in responses the first one is the somatic nervous system and the other other one is autonomic nervous system this is all about the basic function of nervous system next is components of nervous system as we all know ner- nervous system consists of two major parts central nervous system which consists of brain and spinal cord on the other hand peripheral nervous system which consists of cranial nerves spinal nerves and peripheral nerves brain which is a part of central nervous system anatomically the vertebrate brain develops at the anterior end of the spinal cord during embryonic development the brain undergoes regional expansion as a hollow tube of nervous tissue which forms and develop into hind brain mid brain and fore brain hind brain the hind brain is continuous with spinal cord and includes the medulla oblongata cerebellum and pons medulla oblongata it is the enlargement where the spinal cord enters the brain function it control breathing swallowing cardiovascular functions and gastric secretions the medulla oblongata is well developed in all joint vertebrates cerebellum which is the second part of hind brain it is an outgrowth of the medulla oblongata function it co- coordinate motor activity associated with limb movement maintaining posture and special orientation this cerebellum is much larger in birds and mammals pons which is the third part of hind brain the pons is a bridge of transfer nerve tract from the cerebrum of the 
for brain to both side of the cerebellum it perform the function to rapid eye movement sleep second part of brain is mid brain mid brain is a portion which is above the pons and underneath the cerebellum it perform the functions like touch hearing etc third part of brain is for brain it is the master gland of brain it has two main parts diencephalon telencephalon diencephalon it just lie in front of the midbrain and contain the pineal gland pituitary gland hypothalamus and thalamus thalamus the thalamus relays all sensory information to high brain center hypothalamus the hypothalamus lies below the thalamus and regulate many functions such as body temperature hunger sexual drive etc pineal gland the pineal gland controls some body rhythm pituitary gland the pituitary gland is just below the hypothalamus it is a major endocrine gland it control various body functions like prolactin hormone which enhances milk production and mammary gland development in female mammals telencephalon which is the second part of for brain it contain cerebrum which is large group divided into left and right hemisphere the left hemisphere control the function of right hemisphere while the right hemisphere control the function of left hemisphere the cerebrum affect many other brain regions like thalamus and cerebellum spinal cord which is the second part of central nervous system it is the connecting link between the brain and most of the body part it is involved in spinal nerve reflex action voluntary and involuntary limb movement depend upon this link spinal cord consists of cerebral spinal fluid gray matter and white matter gray matter it consists of cell bodies and dendrites and is concerned mainly with reflex connection at various levels of spinal cord white matter it is whitish myelin that covers the axon spinal nerves which includes the peripheral nervous system generally the number of spinal nerves related to number of segments in the trunk and tail of vertebrates for example frog has strong hind limbs for swimming jumping a reduced trunk and no tail in the adult it has only 10 10 pairs of spinal nerves as we can see in this diagram next is cranial nerves the peripheral nervous system of vertebrate include paired cranial nerves reptile birds and mammals have 12 pairs of cranial nerves while the fishes and amphibians have only 10 pairs of cranial nerves next is peripheral nerves it is a network of 34 pairs of motor and sensory neurons that connect the brain and spinal cord to the entire human body as we can see in this diagram this is a flow chart of central nervous system and peripheral nervous system filtering and feature detection feature detection is a process in which neuron or group of neuron in the brain which code for significant stimuli for example simple cell in the visual cortex of the domestic cat responds to as a feature which is more likely to occur in objects and organism in the environment by contrast the background of a natural visual environment tend to be noisy emphasizing high spatial frequencies but lacking in extended edges responding selectively to an extended edge either a bright bright line on a dark background or the reverse highlight objects that are near or very large edge detectors are useful to a cat because edges do not occur often in the background noise of the visual environment command neuron command neuron is a type of neuron that is found to initiate neural activity generated by pacemaker network instinct instinct to specific ganglion it 
consists of motor neuron, interneuron, sensory neuron, synapse and sensory stimulation. Motor neuron also known as afferent or affected neuron. These neurons send the possessed information via a signal to the body affected. For example, muscles to causing them to contract or to gland causing them to secrete. Interneuron also known as associated neuron. These neurons receive signal from sensory neuron and deliver outgoing signal to neurons responsible for responses. Sensory neuron also known as afferent neuron. These neurons carry signal from sensory receptor to central nervous system for processing. These are activated by receptors. Synapse the synapse is the junction between the axon of one neuron and dendrite of another neuron. The space between the end bulb and the dendrite of the next neuron is synaptic lobe. End bulb is the end of the branching axon terminal. Synapse may be electrical or chemical. In electrical synapse, nerve impulse transmit directly from neuron to neuron when positively charged ions move from neuron to neuron. On the other hand, in chemical synapse, two cells communicate by means of a chemical agent called neurotransmitter, which the presynaptic neuron releases. The neuron which carry the action potential towards a synapse called presynaptic ne neuron, it initiates response in the receptive segment leading away from the synapse called postsynaptic neuron. How the Synapse work. First, the action potential reaches the presynaptic terminal. Depolarization occur, which cause the presynaptic terminal open ion channels allow calcium ion into the cell. Then calcium ion trigger release of neurotransmitter from vesicle. These neurotransmitter which release by triggering bind to receptor sites on postsynaptic membrane. Causing and closing of channels cause change in postsynaptic membrane potential, which causes action potential which propagates through next cell. Neurotransmitter inactivated or transported back into presynaptic terminal. Sensory stimulation. These are five major senses: touch, hearing, smell, taste, and sight. Neurological behavior. The role of inhibition is understood by this diagram. Neural communication. The body information system is built for billions of interconnected cells called neurons. As we know, neuron has three major parts: axon, cell body, and dendrite. The cell body has a large central nucleus. Dendrites which are short thread like branches which are actually extension of the cell body carry signal toward the cell body. Exon Exon is long cylindrical dead conduct signal away from the cell body as we can see neuron structure in this diagram. Flowchart of neural communication. Cellular level interconnected neurons to organ level brain, then system level information processing then individual level human being, then group level family, then ethnic level culture, then community level which is society. Neurobiologists and other investigators under, understand that human and animals operate similarly when processing information. How to human and other animals operate similarly when processing information is understood by the this diagram. The last topic is proximate causation. It is an event which is immediately responsible for causing some observed result. For example, female mating. A female animal choose to mate with a particular male during a mate choice trail. A possible proximate explanation states that one male produces a more intense signal, leading to evaluate hormone levels in the female producing copulatory behavior.
this is the overview of human nervous system thank you